Stan Gibalisco here, prime elder of the magnates of Malarkey, fearless leader of the barons of Baloney, and supreme commander of the sultans of stupidity at your service. To get to this website, my website, the magnates of Malarkey, just type that phrase into the phrase box of Google and it'll take you right there. The only active link about me goes to my main website, sciencewriter.net. If you prefer to skip the malarkey, you can just go to sciencewriter.net and explore it to your heart's content and your mind's demise. But what I'd like to show you here now is something that I haven't put, I haven't uploaded into my research sites yet. It's a company called Balloon Time, or it's a product called Balloon Time. I actually learned about this uh, business on another video that was linked from one of mine. It, it was appeared on the same page. Balloon Time Kits. Helium Balloon Kits. They have uh, kits that uh, can include up to a whole bunch of balloons, I believe, uh, according to the video. Uh, I don't know, Jumbo Helium Balloon Kit. Uh, you can get a whole bunch of balloons, see how many there are here, and you can fill them all up with helium. And then you, I thought what I could do, that would work really great to fly a vertical antenna, a wire vertical antenna, on the 160-meter amateur radio band. But, of course, that can be a very dangerous practice, and I would not advise you to try it with a wire unless you are aware of all of the risks. And I have created other videos that explain some of those risks, but uh, my advice to you is don't do it unless you really know what you're doing, and certainly don't assume that I'm telling you to. But I was tempted because of a, of a ham radio contest this weekend to try this. The only problem is I live in a residential area with above ground power lines and that would simply be a rotten idea. But I am going to put a link to balloon time on the description of this video so you can go right there and hey, you know, if you got a little kid and you want to, you know, they love those things, you know, you can fill them up with helium and you can... You can let them go, put a little message in them, like, you know, right back to me, blah bitty blah bitty blah if you get this. And then, you know, it comes back to you from a thousand miles away. Really, really cool. I'm just wondering whether I'll find one anywhere near me. My zip code, 57754. I know there's a Walmart nearby in Spearfish, South Dakota. There are one stores that meet your criteria. Let's look at the road map. It, it'll actually show you a map and find out it is the one right near me in Spearfish, about 14, 15 miles away at this Walmart. They have balloon time. So what I'll do maybe sometime, I wonder if they got one in Cody, Wyoming. Let me just check that. You can check your town. Just enter the zip code here, 82414. There are zero stores. Boo! Well, now I don't know what I'm going to do about that. If I go to the, if I buy the Long Wave Ranch, I'll have to figure out some other way to get that helium. Here's the Long Wave Ranch, the property I long for took this photograph in February of 2013 when I visited it, was looking at it, thinking about moving there. Took this photo with an iPad right out the front yard. No above ground power lines there, but an awful lot of wind, and I don't know if the helium balloons that endure that. Anyway, I hope you've endured this video all the way to this point. If you're a ham radio operator, you might give it some thought, but again, I advise you against it, unless you really know what you're doing and are willing to assume all of the risk. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.